students welcome to this video lecture number session number 20 subject consumer behavior for fifth semester bba for bangalore north university under second chapter that is determinants of consumer behavior we are going to study the concept for consumer attitude formation and change and in previous video lecture session that is number 19 we studied about nature of consumer attitudes it is various attitudes of consumer so attitudes will be learned attitudes are predispositions and attitude causes consistent response and we studied about cognitive component that is brand beliefs and affective component that is brand evaluation and the cognitive component such as intention to buy and how it leads to a behavior attitude of a consumer these are the things that we learned in nature of consumer attitudes so the learning objective of this session is the students will be able to explain factors involved in attitude formation and state the principles which can be used to develop marketing strategies that can help to bring about attitude and the session outcome is after watching this video you the students will be able to learn about the, how to explain the factors involved in attitude formation and state the principles which can be used to develop marketing strategies that can help to bring about attitude. So what is the meaning of consumer attitude? So consumer attitude means inner expression or inner feelings that reflects whether a person is favorably or unfavorably predisposed to a product or brand or an establishment is called as consumer attitude. How he is feeling about the product or services it may be favorable or in unfavorable predisposed to a product or brand or any services is called as consumer attitude consumer attitude is a feeling of favorableness or unfavorableness that an individual has towards products or services and consumer has certain specific feelings towards some products or brands some these feelings are based on certain beliefs and sometimes they are not so based on their be feelings or beliefs the consumer has some idea about or feelings about specific feelings about some products or services is called as consumer attitude and what are all the factors involved in the attitude formation also in case of how they are going to form the attitude based on the various factors that is involved first one is group factors so under group factor, we have a family, preference group, and social factors, and personality factors, such as heredity, environment, situation, and agreeableness, and openness. So how this attitude forms in the minds of the uh, consumer, and it is reflected in the form of behavior that is reflected on these factors. First one is family, and are the group factors. In case of family, family is also forms the how they are going to create the attitudes through their learning things about the family members. So through observing these family members, these individual has an impact on creation of their attitudes. So attitudes, they deeply depends upon the uh, learning things of the, or the fellow things of the family members that are in the family groups. And reference groups, even a consumer has an attitude over these reference groups such as peers then uh, our relatives our friends our surrounding peoples where they has greatly impacted on these individual customers or individual uh, consumers where the attitude in in case of formation of attitude has deeply impacted on these reference groups based on their attitude they even even these consumers also develop such a type of attitudes towards product or services by observing them and social factors even social classes also influence the consumer attitudes the social classes perform the various important tasks of transmitting cultural behavioral pattern to specific groups and families so uh, these groups consumer as well as individual consumers has a great impact on these social factors which is influenced by value of pattern and attitude formation members in the same social class groups and personality factors personality factors such as heredity 
heredity is nothing but the attitude which is come from their father or heirs father mother or their family members hereditarily it comes from generation to generation based on their it, formation can be happened and environment the environment which includes the surrounding things which is as impacted on the um, consumers consumers may be surrounded by their family members or reference groups or social factors these are all constitute various environmental factor even they have greatly impacted on the attitude of a consumer towards the products or services or any other object situation situation also creates to uh, behave in a particular way of the consumer while at the time of getting the information or at the time of purchasing the information or at the time of using the products or services or at the time of disposing the products or services based on the situation that is prevailed in the uh, market or prevailed in the circumstances they are going to act in a particular way this is also part of the attitude formation of the products or services from the consumers and agreeableness so agreeableness is nothing but uh, it, it is easy for the consumers whether to agree or disagree about the decisions taken by them that is based on their attitude that basically depends upon the how he is going to create an attitude towards various object or products or services that has impacted from the even family reference groups or social factors or such environment he stays the, that is also impacted on the attitude formation and openness openness is nothing but freeness openness to the uh, uh, openness to accept the present challenges about the product or services or where he is going to easily accept the all the uh, information or the all the changes that is made in the market about the product or services so it has also great impact on the formation of attitude of a consumers and direct experience so direct experience is nothing but where a consumer has a attitude towards goods or services or from true consumer direct experience with product or services the market have frequently attempted to stimulate trial new products by offering samples discounts and other sales promotion offer these are various strategies that should be adopted by the marketers to attract the customers and direct marketing direct marketing is have a great impact on the uh, understand that uh, attitude of an consumer where the present day increasingly using highly the direct marketing channels focused on direct marketing programs by adopting the various direct marketing programs to uh, attract the target customers with products and services that fit to the interest of their lifestyles lifestyles whatever their lifestyles is that should be fixed by the in the form of direct marketing and exposure to mass media so marketer also uses various mass media uh, techniques to communicate their product as existence to the consumers such as newspaper print media press media television or through internet or through various other mass media advertisement where they can attract the customers uh, and even they can share the information about the products or services and attitude change so attitude change is nothing but occurs any time an attitude is modified modified so usually every consumer has an attitude towards the products or services if it is modified if it is changed then that constitute attitude change this change occurs when a person goes from positive to negative so if he goes from plus positive or to negative towards various products or services that that term that uh, time is we call it can call it as a attitude change from slightly positive to very positive or from have no attitude to having one attitude so these are the situations where attitude can be changed from the consumers and what are the principles to develop a marketing strategy for changing uh, attitude so these are some of the ways a marketer should develop a strategy is for Uh, controlling the attitude change of the consumer first one it is easier to change the belief rather than the desired benefits so uh, a market uh, instead of uh, uh, instead of getting desired benefits it is very easy to change the belief of the consumer rather than the desired benefits and it is easier to change a brand belief than the brand attitude instead of 
changing the brand attitude a marketer can easily can change the brand belief what the things by the consumer about the products or services it is easier to change the attitudes when there is a slow level of involvement in the product so when there is a low level of involvement of the product from the consumers it is very easy to change the attitude of the consumers about the thinking level or what is the attitude level of towards the products or services at the time itself marketer has to make a strategy to change the attitudes with the products weak attitudes are easier to change than strong ones so whenever a consumer is having a weak attitude towards the products or services the market to marketing strategy the marketer has to identify those weak attitudes and take quick decisions to change uh, the uh, negative attitude to positive attitudes so if it is become strong one negative attitude become strong one it's highly impossible whatever marketing strategy that can be adopted by the it is very easily impossible to convert those negative into positive easily from by the marketer so at the time of uh, formation itself they should be removed all those constraints and it will be easier to change the attitude helped by the consumer who have less confidence in their brand evaluation brand evaluations so for the marketer it is easy to change attitude held by the consumer who have less confidence in their brand evaluation so if there is consumers uh, consumers having a problem or who has less confidence in their brand evaluation the marketer has to identify the uh, those things and it can take the quick decision to change their attitude so to the consumers it is easier to change attitudes which are based on ambiguous information so if any ambiguity or confusion arises in the information about the products or services the marketer has to quick, take quick decisions so that it is easy to change the attitude if any uh, consumers having a ambiguous uh, about the information of products or services so out of uh, above slides i have prepared some uh, multiple choice questions so that this uh, attitude change that can be easily understand by the students so which of the following is a function of survey attitude knowledge function value expressive function utilitarian function the answer is all of the above so all these constitute the functions of attitudes some attitudes are primarily as a means of organizing beliefs about object or activities such as brand shopping which serves as a dash function that is knowledge function obviously all these things about uh, beliefs about the object activities uh, constitute a knowledge function hence the answer is knowledge which component of attitude consists of a consumer beliefs about an object answer is affective cognitive factual and behavioral answer is cognitive so this is the main component that consumer beliefs about an object feeling or emotional reactions to an object reflects the component of an attitude that is knowledge cognitive affective behavior the answer is affective so feelings are emotional reaction of so an object reflect the affective component of an attitude which of the following is a strategy for altering the cognitive component of a consumer attitude the answer is all of the above that is change in belief shift in importance change in deal all this constitute a strategy for altering the cognitive component of a consumer attitude So these are the references I have taken for getting the all the information relating to this attitude change. So thank you for watching this video.